Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming, and welcome back to, well, this isn't exactly our vanilla world, but uh, I'm trying to show off a house design that I, I messed with in creative before I go ahead and build it in survival, so, um, basically this is what we have so far, I'm not, uh, super stoked on the shape of it yet, but more of the, more of the, just the, the look of it, so it's kind of like the same two level, not, it's like one and a half levels, like we did with our little, um, staircase cover I guess you could call it um, but I like the front um, I'm liking the front so we're gonna keep that kind of look but then the side is more or the walls I guess are, are more what like, I'm looking for here so oh these are supposed to not be wood anymore I think the other ones I already fixed yeah I did okay so um, I tried to do it a little bit layered so these are back further uh, a little bit more depth um you got some fences up in the top so it looks I, I really like how it looks from the outside um but if you do this kind of indenting type of thing you have less room inside is the only problem so if i go inside and i like that door a lot by the way this is what it looks like on the inside so um i actually had to add another log column i guess on the inside oh if i fly up here you could see that there's one out there and there's one in here but that i still think that looks good it, just to make it look like these aren't just random boxes that are in here so that makes it smooth but it's a really tiny room like this is this is how big the room is let me just kind of look around and then I'll, I'll fly above and then that's how big the house is for that small room so um, it's gonna have to be a pretty big house or it's gonna have to be a pretty small room it, it'll either have to be a humongous house with a normal size room or a, a house like this with a small room uh, I, I could go underground I could build it higher I don't really want to build it higher maybe maybe one more floor I could experiment with another floor maybe um, but I'm gonna do that off camera uh, I said I would um, put that in the next episode but I haven't haven't finished quite my ideas yet also this was this is one that i built a long time ago uh just for this world here this is our uh oh that's a <laughs> that's a world edit mistake right there this is our world edit kind of world um this is just a house i built i don't really like this one yet but uh it's pretty cool it's got a little little attic up here uh, but yeah uh, i i like this one over here better it uses the materials that we have anyway uh this is the this is the world i was just kind of practicing world edit in this is the our humongous castle that we built using world edit uh, check out my world edit tutorial it's actually one of my most popular series uh, just three episodes of the basics of world edit and um, it's really fun to use I built this castle um, details and all in about two hours uh, in which you know if you were to just playing in vanilla would have taken you it would have taken me days at least days to build this so yeah really cool tutorial check it out um, it's on my channel so anyway I'm gonna jump back into our survival world and we're going to go on an adventure okay so we are back in our survival world beautiful as ever and we are going to check out our haul from over the last over the little break that we had uh, so here we are uh, I went mining and got a just enough diamonds to make a full set of diamond armor um, I did not get enough though to repair my pickaxe. We're gonna have to leave this guy behind. Um, uh, I took down a huge chunk here. I think uh, this is where our house is gonna be put. So you know we don't have too much space, but I could go up on the hill a little bit. But this was this was a mountain right here, so I just flattened it off. Used most of my pick. Um, got a few stacks of grass because of that silk touch shovel, which is pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna leave that pick behind because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to break it. But we're gonna take off our crappy iron armor here and don our diamond boots unbreaking three protection three depth strider three those are pretty good diamond legs unbreaking three protection four again good protection three unbreaking three diamond touch plates all right unbreaking three is the most important part and then unbreaking three protection four diamond helmet and then our sword has sharpness three looting to an unbreaking three so that is a pretty great sword i'm gonna put all these crappy things back and then our nice shovel that we got um couple stacks I guess. Do I have any in here? No, just two stacks. Uh, that's pretty nice though. So, uh, I'm gonna toss some wood in our inventory. Ooh, that doesn't go there. Keep some of that. Don't need dirt. Um, still trying to get organized here. 
There we go. Okay, so we are going to go on an adventure. We have plenty of food. We have our bow. We don't need our axe, really. I'm just going to take it with. Just in case. Um, bucket of water. Got that. Plenty of food. Got some blocks. Got some wood. Probably don't need that much wood. And the maps. That's what we need. We're going to do the woodland first by itself because it's in a completely different direction. We don't want to carry both maps and you don't die. Probably won't die, but yeah, that's the plan. So uh, we are going to look on our map and notice that by my armor bar, there's a little dot. So we need to head northeast. I'm assuming for a long way. So I might actually do a little speedy up so I don't have to talk the whole time. So um, we're going to find north. Yeah, northeast is this way. So I'm going to start walking. Okay, so I am finally back. Uh, we've made it. Um, I am out of blocks, I guess, is the only thing I'm really out of. The food is dwindling, but, you know, we could we could always stop and kill some cows and pigs and stuff like that. But we are here. This is it. Uh, it took me a long time. I decided just to scrap the, uh, scrap the, the ride here. It was just, it was taking too long. So, uh... Yeah, we are now in for a treat because. Okay, yeah, just uh, just uh, I hate the new combat system. Um, creepers are impossible. Skeletons are impossible. Zombies don't get knocked back every time you hit them now, and so I don't. Uh, I I just think they didn't need to. They didn't need to do what they did. Oh my god, I don't have any blocks. No way. I think I tried getting up here before. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Well, we got some blocks now. Um, here we are. We've made it. Give me torches. Thank you. And time to explore. I have never done one of these. Not even in creative. I've watched people do it, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Never done it myself. So let's leave this place. That was nothing. Also nothing. This is a humongous statue of one of those dudes. Okay. <laughs> Another weird ladder room with a pumpkin. And it did end. Sweet. I hear Humphring. Hump <laughs> Let's try going this way. A uh, really tall table for some reason. I'm not seeing any of the new mobs yet. This place is kind. Of, this hallway is kind of cool. Another one of these guys, and a bunch of skeletons. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Okay, I'm just gonna turn these into. I'm just gonna turn them all into blocks because I need I need blocks more than I need making logs right now. Um, there's one right there. One of the new guys. Okay, this. What the? What the heck is this? Two diamond hose and a chain chest plate. Okay. That is a weird chest. That is a weird chest, and this is a weird room. I am not actually sure how this room works, but it is cool. Kind of just spirals around itself, I guess. We're going to piss this guy off. And I'm out of those. Yeah, they're bad. I was gonna say, are these guys not hostile or what? They drop emeralds, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna try to keep one or two. Like this guy. I think we're gonna try to keep him. Oh! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? They hit hard. Is there anything in here? There's a broken anvil, but it's broken, so I don't really care. Okay. You have been kept. Just in case they do something cool. Um, a room full of chests that I know are all going to be empty. 
I do want to check them all, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Too much. I'm pretty sure they're all empty. Name tag? Sweet. Um, I'll take three buckets. I'll only take up one inventory spot. This is an odd room. But okay. Moving on. Oh, jeez. Don't kill me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Cauldron. Don't really care about that. That actually made me jump. <laughs> you saw it, probably. Okay, nothing in the jail cells. That was scary. Uh, this looks awfully suspicious. Okay. Okay, secret room with the tree in it. Another prison. God dang! They don't, mm, don't you dare. They hit so hard. I have full diamond with all of it having protection. That is scary. And they jump, they're so fast too. Okay, I think that's it for this level. Holy crap though. I haven't seen any of the the, uh, the caster dudes. Thankfully, There's a creeper though. What? I thought I could. I too hit him before, and now I can't. I don't understand. Ah. Uh, okay. Frustrations with the combat system aside. There's some flying dirt. <laughs> Okay, some bookshelves. Don't really need any bookshelves. Some more bookshelves. I hear zombies. Nothing but a little view. Tons of bookshelves. That's what these zombies. Oh, and a few bookshelves. Okay, what the heck is that? Oh, is it? I was like, oh, it was so green. It was just a zombie villager. Like a green coat or something. Oh, please no. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That scared the crap out of me. This is so much harder than it used to be. Well, and normal too. I remember seeing a chest on top in one of the videos I watched, however. No. Okay. Really? Huh. Alright. I hear them, but I don't see anything. Oh god, that's one of the caster dudes. Goodbye. Oh, there's two of them though. Should I try to take them on? There are two of them. And a creeper. Oh my god! Do I have any arrows? Oh, stop it. They don't hurt that bad. Let's uh, let's go in from the other way, because I don't want to face him first. I want to get rid of the axe dude and the creeper first. But where the heck? This must curl around. Or are the all or all of the rooms aren't connected. Which is possible. Oh no, that's it right there, I think. Give me some arrows, dude. 
Why do you run so freaking fast? All right, all ah, okay. I can see how those guys are deadly. They swarm you. Oh, this is one of those guys. I don't know what they're called. I got this, though. I think that makes me not die. It says undying, so I'm assuming it makes me not die. I'm just going to put it in my hotbar just in case. I think that's what you do. I'm just going to avoid those guys. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to run in there. Too many guys. Back out. Back out. Kill these guys. Oof. Don't blow up my dime or my M's. Shut up. I hate, I hate this. <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. Very fun. Go away. I can't kill them. They just keep respawning. Am I full? It's horrible. Jeez. Okay. They're just like trapping me. Okay, go away. Go away. They do have a range, it seems like. I need to get rid of some garbage because I'm trying to pick up that stuff. Uh, no, thank you. No. Um, thank you. Two diamond hoes. What the heck? Whatever, dude. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. I'm trying to combine this. You need to die. I killed your freaking guy, dude. Go away. Still here. Her, her. Oh my god. You cannot hit these guys. And, and these are like the ones that you'd want to spam click, but you can't because they won't do any freaking damage. Come at me, dude. Fucking. Oh my god, I hate them. Just gotta be accurate. We're just gonna ignore him. We're just gonna ignore him and go after this guy. Thank you. There's another one. See, the knockback, it doesn't knock him back. You know, when you hit him with a sword, they expect him to jump back so you have time to re-swing, but no, they just, they just close the freaking distance right away. So I don't get, I don't get that. It's like impossible to fight things now. Okay, I, I, and the damage too. Like sometimes I two hit them, sometimes I can't even two hit them with a crit as one of the hits. God, they freaking dodge so well. There's a lot of dudes in there. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of dudes in there. And they freaking dodge. What the heck? There were so many in there. I don't think they spawn. Like, I don't think they respawn, I should say. Heck of this place. Just die. I don't have a pickaxe. Come on. 
have no idea what this place is. Um. Okay, giant chicken. Whatever. Or float your. Or oh. float your boat, dude. Suck it. What are they dropping? Are they dropping items? I don't think so. Just experience. Easy compared to that. No, I haven't seen the enemy in a while. I thought you were one of the axe guys. I was scared because when they. Oh my god. When they do that, they can freaking. The zombies. The baby zombies are impossible to hit also. You can't spam click anymore. The game. The speeds of the mobs. It's almost like they were designed. They were designed for being able to spam click, but now that you can't spam click, they move way too fast. They move way too fast. Okay, there's the caster. I just hit the Enderman. I'm gonna die because it's a freaking guy. This is hard. <laughs> I have three of these. I don't know what to do with them though. I don't know how they work. Hopefully we don't have to find out how they work. Okay, that room is almost cleared. Three you jumped over. Oh, there's two of them. Oh no, you're hiding inside of them? Okay, okay, okay. Where'd you go? You're dead somehow. Jesus. That guy was flying at me while he was dead. Come here. Jesus. That, oh my god, there's three left. There's only one left. What is this? Is it like a map? Anything back here? Just, just, oh my god. I, I can't. I can't hit them. I can't hit them. How are there so many? I killed your fucking dude. How am I running out of hearts? It's baked potatoes. Fuck. Oh, and I can't hit them because they go fucking underground. Come on, let's go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, fuck you. I'm sorry, I'm getting so mad, guys. This episode's gonna be a little long because this dungeon is freaking crazy. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna not go in there yet. Let's just uh, keep them around. There's nothing in there that I want. Isn't there, like, saturation? Isn't that a thing? Because I eat potato and it just goes away. It's a cat. What is this game? Huh. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> it's a giant cat. I think we're almost done. Hi! Goodbye. One down. Yeah, just don't hit him. Hit him right in the face. And just... Ah. I hate this. I hate this game so much. Just work. Why is this creeper city? See, two hits. That one. And there's no reward. There was, I've seen a one, like two chests in here, one that only had an axe in it. Nothing. Oh man, well, this is the hardest dungeon so far, but it's also the least rewarding. Okay. I know... What the heck? Why is there holes there? Um... I know there's more that aren't... Con 
Uh, oh, Jesus. I know there's more rooms that aren't connected to the hallways, so I'm gonna call it here, and if I find anything else cool while I'm just messing around in here, I will let you know. But holy crap, guys. Um, it's not super rewarding, but we did get four totems of them dying. Totem dying? Yeah, totem of them dying. Uh, two diamond hoes, a uh, name tag, and some other miscellaneous uh, 30 em 31 emeralds. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got so frustrated this episode, but um, still not super used to the combat system, obviously. So bear with me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.